Recently, news broke that China's Prince of Piano Li Yundi was administratively detained in Beijing on alleged dealings with prostitutes, which sparked intense public discussion. Along with him, another mysterious group of people who have been instrumental in past celebrity scandals, the Chaoyang Masses, have also been a hot surge on Weibo. The Beijing Chaoyang District Public Security Bureau issued a notice on Weibo at 8:45 p.m. on October 21st, mentioning that the police had received a report from the public that someone had been involved in prostitution in a district in Chaoyang. And that the person in question had been administratively detained by the security bureau. Ten seconds after the report was issued, the official media of the CCP immediately followed up. The Weibo account of People's Daily posted a direct criticism of Li Yundi. The CCP's mouthpiece, CCTV, also said that Li Yundi's fall from grace was his own fault, saying attractiveness is not a shield for breaking the law, nor does talent protect you from punishment. Pianist Li Yundi, arrested for visiting prostitutes, immediately trended on all major platforms. The 39-year-old enjoyed a high profile and was once touted by the CCP as a source of national pride, and his story was even written into middle school English textbooks. In the year 2000, at the age of 18, Li won the international Chou Pin Piano Competition, known as the Piano Olympics. And became the youngest winner of the nearly century-old international competition. In 2015, he was invited to be a judge of the 17th Chopin International Piano Competition. In 2003, Li Yundi released the album Liszt Piano Collection, which won the German Classical Echo Award and was selected as New York Times Classical Music Record of the Year. Over the years. Li has received numerous awards and holds many social honors and positions. In 2009, he was chosen as one of Chongqing's ambassadors and was personally presented with a certificate by then Municipal Party Secretary Bo Xilai. On the evening of June 25, 2011, Li Yundi gave the first recital of his Red Piano World Tour in Chongqing on the 90th anniversary of the founding of the CCP. Twenty children selected as future stars. Played communist songs together with Li. Li has also appeared several times on the stage of the Spring Festival Gala, the most important cultural performance of the Chinese Communist Party. In addition, he has served as a member of the Standing Committee of the Chongqing Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, a member of the Standing Committee of the All China Youth Federation. The vice chairman of the Hong Kong Youth Federation, as well as the title of vice president and associate professor of the Sichuan Conservatory of Music Piano Arts Research Institute, Li Yundi's Weibo account also shows that most of his posts are about loving the CCP and the country, so he is a little pink by official definition, which is a common title given to people who actively praise the CCP yet are not paid to do so, unlike the Fifty Cent Army. When news of Li's detention was released, all Communist Party organizations immediately cut ties with him. The Sichuan Conservatory of Music quickly removed his nameplate, and the Chinese Musicians Association, which is also affiliated with the CCP, issued a statement canceling his membership. Li Yundi's arrest has affected his acting career, and his works have also been taken down from the internet. He has been endorsing more than ten brands in recent years. Including watches, cars, audio equipment, and other premium brands, and this incident may leave him facing huge breach of contract fees. In an instant, the once shining star fell from the sky into the mud. After experiencing this incident, Li may never have the opportunity to stand up again in China. His art career will most likely come to an end. Many netizens marveled at the suddenness of the incident. But many more questioned whether the CCP was using Li's case to shift public focus, as this is a common tactic used by the CCP. Usually, when there is a major event that the CCP does not want people to pay attention to, a well-known artist will get into trouble and quickly dominate the headlines of all major media platforms in order to dilute the impact of another event. For example, during the Zhengzhou floods in July this year, another prominent artist Wu Yifan was detained and arrested by police on suspicion of rape. 
At that time, many people suspected that the CCP was trying to divert the public's attention from the serious floods in Zhengzhou. This time, at 8:20 a.m. on the 21st, just 12 hours before Li Yundi was arrested, a major gas explosion occurred in Shenyang, Liaoning Province, almost destroying all the buildings on the entire street. By the evening of the 22nd, officials claimed that the incident had killed five people, seriously injured three, and relocated 1,512 people. However, the public is generally skeptical about this. The authorities have been suppressing the topic from appearing on Weibo's top searches. In addition, Ou Jinzhong, a farmer in Putian, Fujian Province, who has long been bullied by the village tyrants, snuck into their house with a knife on October 10th and hacked two people to death while wounding three others. Ou Jinzhong successfully escaped, but he was eventually found by the police, who claimed that Ou committed suicide from fear of being punished. But there is a rumor circulating that O was beaten to death by the police. The incident sparked a huge public outcry, with the overwhelming majority considering O Jinzhong to be a hero. This has made the Chinese authorities very worried that more people will follow O Jinzhong's example and take up arms to resist. So they need to suppress further fermentation of the incident. In addition, with the Evergrande debt issue, the real estate tax shockwave has yet to reach its peak. The intense infighting at the Sixth Plenum, including the arrest of Jiang Zemin's grandson and various other rumors, are also quickly spreading. Just when people were paying attention to these issues that the CCP did not want to discuss, news of the Piano Prince's scandal was exposed, and the whole country was suddenly a buzz, and people's attention was successfully diverted. Even Li Yundi's private life was publicized and discussed like it was the most important thing in the country. Together with Li Yundi on Weibo's hot search list is the Chaoyang masses who reported him, and this mysterious group has also become the focus of attention. It is understood that the Chaoyang masses is jokingly called one of the world's top intelligence organizations by the mainlanders, alongside the CIA, KGB, MI6, and Mossad. According to incomplete statistics, in recent years, nearly 20 celebrities have been investigated and punished by the police. After being reported by the Chaoyang masses for illegal acts, this group is mainly composed of older women in Beijing wearing red armbands, and is one of the representatives of China's grassroots group Defense System. According to Chaoyang police, by the end of 2017, there were more than 140,000 registered Chaoyang masses in the district, providing an average of nearly 20,000 pieces of information to the police each month. The entire Beijing municipality has more than 850 registered policing volunteers in similar organizations. According to overseas media sources, depending on the effectiveness of the information provided, the Chaoyang masses can receive anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 RMB per piece of useful information, equivalent to around 156 to 783 US dollars. So these Beijing aunties are happy to act as informants for the police. But according to overseas media sources, the arrest of Li Yundi was not directly related to the Chaoyang masses. The Chaoyang district in Beijing is home to many third-tier celebrities and social media influencers, and those involved in prostitution are often controlled by Chaoyang district police after clashing with customers. Once during a check of Alipay and WeChat transfer records on the phones of prostitutes, the police stumbled upon Li Yundi's name around the end of July and beginning of August this year. The police station chief in charge of this matter in Chaoyang District wanted to extort a sum of money through this matter, and had approached Li Yundi through his connections to demand 300,000 RMB. And it turned out that the police station chief wanted to use this money to buy a deputy director position. Li Yundi found a friend in the Central Committee of the Communist Youth League to put a stop to this. The friend suggested that 100,000 RMB will be enough. But after receiving the money, the police station chief asked another friend to tell Li Yundi to add some more. But Li and his friend from the Central Committee refused. Overseas media reporters have disclosed that the Chaoyang masses have historically been tasked with diverting hot topics. Whenever something important happens, or whenever the Central Propaganda Department needs a topic, it finds the Chaoyang District Public Security Bureau to see if the Chaoyang masses has anything that can draw away public opinion. 
The unsatisfied police station chief brought up the matter of Liu Yundi in this meeting, and the relevant records were handed in. So Li was selected and exposed at a time when the authorities needed to shift the focus of public opinion. Li was then taken away by the police at the airport after returning to Beijing. Why was Li Yundi, with his many official titles, abandoned by the CCP overnight and made the victim of public opinion? Judging from the swift and unanimous actions of the CCP's official media and the rapid climb on the hot search list, it's obvious that this was prearranged by the authorities. Such operations has been seen repeatedly in many popular events in the past, so it's not as simple as it seems on the surface. Some current events commentators believe that Li Yundi may be involved in the internal struggles of the Chinese Communist Party. The buzz is that Li Yundi was well liked by former CCP General Secretary Jiang Zemin and was received by Jiang several times. From his past experience, Li has stood up for Bo Xilai, who was in charge of Chongqing and a top competitor of Xi Jinping for CCP leadership, and is now in prison. He also has an unusual relationship with recently banned actress Zhao Wei, who has close ties to Jack Ma and the Jiang Zemin and Zheng Jinghong families behind him. Clearly, the Beijing authorities seem to be using the matter of Li Yundi to send a message to the outside world. Perhaps they are warning those who follow the Jiang Zemin faction to recognize the danger at large and distinguish between black and white. However, it cannot be ruled out that someone has deliberately set up a trap for him and planned his downfall, which may be the result of competition within the circle or for other reasons.